their beautiful truck behind them, the Hadrian X. It is one of three trucks in the world, the only one in the US. It was brought in in August. We partnered with them to test out this new technology where essentially we're 3D printing a home using block. Um, so really a nice process, something where we're using materials that we've been using for ages. Um, some of the other types of 3D printing technology, uh, they don't, they're using new kinds of mixes and materials. Here, it's something tried and true. Add in additional labor pool with something like this, which right now there's such a shortage. Folks have asked us about, hey, are you replacing? No, we need more people to help build homes, especially in the state of Florida. We've seen so many people come in. This is actually one of our most popular floor plans, the Mystique. It's in our entire company. It's just over 2,000 square feet. And this home, the walls will be up within the day. So give a quick example, a normal block layer, it would take them to lay 300 blocks about an entire day. This machine will do it in an hour. This is definitely uh, more of a beta test for us right now. Um, again, Pulte has a entire side, our, our CEO, Ryan Marshall, really promotes innovation. We have entire teams that just work on innovation. And when we heard about this technology and we, we had to get it, we had to see what it was going to do for us. And it was a great partnership. From a standpoint of how we, we view the future, a little bit unknown, but we do know that if the labor pool continues to go the way it is, we eventually will not only need these trucks as a nice to have, but we will need them full time. Um, typically a crew would be anywhere from about six to 10 people, including a supervisor out here. This truck, right now we have a few extra guys because they're doing trainings on it, but this truck would typically run with two to three people and that's it. The most important part is that Filthy is willing to jump in and, and test out things like this. It, it really was a great match because, again, we're not testing out new materials. We're not worried about any types of issue from a quality standpoint. We're using the same block we've always used, and we're using a, a specialized epoxy instead of a mortar, which is two times stronger than the, the normal material that would be used. So we're actually using another product that's been tested before, but this is even higher quality. So the first home that, that Pulte is doing, but there are a total of 10 homes that are either underway throughout the country or they're getting ready to be underway. Uh, we're an Australian based company and we have bought the uh, world's first robotic brick lay block lay laying mason here to uh, Fort Myers in Babcock Ranch. It's predominantly a 3D printer um, and I know that 3D printers are you know, getting thrown around a lot at the moment but a, th any, a 3D printer can be can be anything that kind of prints prints out some form. Now, there's a lot of 3D printers that are using, say, a wet concrete, um, a wet mortar type mix, whereas we decided to, to make our 3D printer print out uh, CMU standard blocks. Um, they've kind of stood the test of time. We've built millions or trillions of houses with these blocks. You know, everyone knows that a CMU block house is a strong house. So we decided to kind of use that to our advantage and then focus our machine to, to build houses with the CMU blocks. One of, our, one of our great points is I think it's our speed. You know, the, the efficiency that we have the ability to build houses is, is one of our main speed, um, one of our main advantages. Um, you know, and we can kind of, you know, you could, you could look at building shelters, you could build anything. You know, if, if a hurricane goes through and, and you need a whole bunch of houses printed out very quickly, you know, we, we can go out, we can be deployed, we, we build those structures. Um, you know, we even have applications where we could possibly go to the, to the military, you know, if they needed to build barracks or they needed to build anything. You know, the machine has so many, you know, so many advantages to using the machine in, in real world um, operations that, you know, the, the sky's the limit. You know, if, if a structure's being built with bricks today, we can build it. It's, we're taking out, the, uh, we're taking out the, the human content of building that structure and replacing it with a machine that's a lot more efficient and um, a lot more accurate to, to move forward. I think one of the main advantages that we have with using the Hadrian system is, is we have zero waste. You know, on this particular project, you know, we've cut the blocks before we got here. We know exactly the size that we need to cut. We, you know, everything's calculated before we get here, which will then allow us to actually get to site and have zero waste on site. Um, you know, couple that with the speed, the accuracy, and the safety aspect, you know, it's kind of, we're, we're ticking a lot of boxes moving forward. Um, it's kind of an exciting time for us and we're really, 
really happy that we're, we're here in the US. Our 10th house, so we built two already here in Babcock Ranch. This will be our third in Babcock Ranch. And we've built another seven on scattered lots all through Lehigh Acre. We've, we've currently got another three US trucks under production at the moment. Um, ultimately, you know, we'll go to market using the, the truck we have. Um, and then once we kind of start integrating more trucks, we can actually satisfy or, you know, at least get into the market and then start to build from there and, and then keep a constant flow of introducing machines into the US market whilst the work's there and kind of get everything up and going.